it means a lot. It means you're a person again. Millions of dollars in funding is on its way to San Diego to help the homeless in our city find a stable place to live. The funding is part of a larger announcement from Governor Newsom today. And new at 11 o'clock, our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo is joining us now live in studio to explain how the county secured this funding. Laura? Yeah, Kimberly, and the county needed to apply in order to get this award, and they did so with the San Diego Housing Commission and Path Ventures. This project, when complete, will house dozens of people. It's small. It's about, I don't know, 300 square feet roughly. But it's a safe, stable place for Destry Whitney to call home. We've got a kitchen, we've got a bathroom, that's a closet. Get your bed, dresser, it all came furnished. Whitney was homeless for several years after rent became too high. He says local and state programs helped him secure this place to live in downtown, helping him get back on his feet. Having a safe place to be, you know, it's, it's not necessarily safe out on the street most of the time. Whitney was helped through programs and funding similar to Project Home Key. Wednesday, Governor Gavin Newsom announced $694 million in Home Key awards to create more than 2,500 new homeless housing units statewide. I just want to see folks off the streets. I want it done compassionately, thoughtfully. And I'm just sick and tired. San Diego is getting nearly $12 million that will help fund a housing facility already in progress, Path Villas in El Cerrito. The building will be five stories high with new homes made up of five studio apartments, 17 one-bedroom and 18 two-bedroom apartments, and a manager's unit. On the ground level, a health and physical rehab facility where tenants can get medical care, substance abuse treatment and mental health care. And for people like Whitney, who's been helped before, he says this funding will literally change lives here in San Diego. So it really brings you back up to uh, human status. You stop feeling it does help a lot of people, you know, it, a lot of people. Now, once this project is done, the county says it can house up to 75 at-risk San Diegans. In studio, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.